Hey, what's up, gamers? I'm here joined by today. Travis, how you doing, friend of Vendo? I'm all right. We got another super special TW 2020 video out for everybody today, showing them probably what is going to be the easiest way to play multiplayer. Now, for some people, um, you can still go through and send the files. It's one way of doing it. Um, however, if you want real-time interaction, you just want to get through that database with your buddies. Um, here's what I believe to be the fastest way. Get out of my way, advanced system care. I'll mm -hmm. pop up there. So what do you guys want to do here first? You want to go to teamviewer.com and download this. Essentially what it is is you're going to be able to remote desktop connect into someone's computer. So I only recommend it if you're playing with people that you trust. However, if you're playing with a person who's a little sketch and you're like, hmm, you can still kick them off. And this is why I use this for TW instead of Parsec is because the mouse supports better. So if Travis is over there and he's like, I want to get in your folders, I can be like, no, and just kick him out of here. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. I want to get in. I hit download no, for in. free. You're going to download, run that exe, and once you're set up and you make your account, it's going to look like this, guys. Now I'm going to go here and accept Travis as a friend. It'll make things really easy. Uh, so to add a person mm -hmm. as a friend, you're going to click add a contact. Boom. Find their email, yep. to whatever the one they made their account with. Uh, another yep. way to do it is you can just send them your ID and their password. Now, here's the thing. The password, it changes every time you boot up. So if you're trying to load in my thing right now, I've got bad news for you, gamer. So, and you can also create a uh, permanent password too. But why would I, why would I do that? Because I'm recording, guys, let's be honest. So other than that, uh, it is free. That's the main thing there. You'll probably get a pop-up here and there um, that'll be like, hey, you sure you're using this for free? Um, you know, I you don't get it as much as other people, but some people get it all the time. So yeah. it's just one of those like WinRAR pop-up things. So if you want to do the handy dandy and uh, join, that'd be appreciated. Yeah, I'll do that for me. So, you go, do that so even though I have Travis as a friend, he still has to ask for permission to hop in here. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, just another security thing there. I'll allow him to hop in. You're gonna uh, bring him in here for a second. Just Incoming, connecting. yeah, it's coming all the way from England, so yeah, it takes a, a little bit. So there we have all him, right. and uh, I'm not here just to show the added proof. There, I'm gonna do video capture. I'm gonna put myself right here, and uh, mm -hmm. Travis, you move, move, move the mouse around a little bit. And look, my hands, ah, uh, magic, uh, moving the mouse. So yeah, <laughs> so there's right, that. Well, guys. Something you should do when you do join because mm -hmm. you get an echo. That's go true. Go to communicate and then go to computer sound. Yeah. And I can hit. You know, so you if you get, get an echo, echo, go to the top and go to computer sounds and uh, turn it off. Um, if you're the person playing, you won't have that problem. So as you guys see, no, there's no problem for me. But if you're the person playing on someone else's, mm -hmm. you know, you'll run into that. Now, what you do normally is you just go to new game and then it's going to ask you for two players. You'll hit that. Another thing here is that you can also add a person in at any time by going down to the options little cog wheel and then adding a new player in. And he can do his own little company or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Um, now, Travis, you've gotten a horrible reputation with our friend group for being probably the slowest booker, but TW2020 yeah. fixed that. So now we can jump around. So if I'm like, Travis, I want to book my turn already. Or if Travis is like, hey, let's arrange a deal. You know, he's like, I'll let you have this guy for this guy. You can do that. You can just trade back and forth in there. So mm -hmm. it helps me as a slow player. Yeah. <laughs> I just got to get used to it all. Yeah. And even here, I'm taking my time because it's you're still a learning curve. And uh, yeah. hopefully you guys found some information. Uh, useful in this video if you're playing yeah, multiplayer no, um, of course there's still the file transfer method there but I think honestly this is always without a doubt gonna be the fastest way to do it um, I understand there's some things where you can't get everybody together at some points so file transfer me method might be better for you you know uh, depending on some of the people you're playing with um, but just letting everybody know that hey options on the table uh, thanks for joining me Travis and uh, yep, no problem. We'll see everybody around peace out